Hi guys, so while I was on Twitter, I thought, oh, why don't I sort of show some of you guys um, some Twitter, Twitter accounts to follow? <clears throat> so if you're not on Twitter, it's, it is worth getting. I know a lot of people aren't on Twitter, but you know, it's free and you get some decent information on there. So basically I put together a few accounts that I follow. There are, there are lots more to be honest with you that I follow. Um, some good, some not so good. But here's just a, a pick of a few that I think are okay. So the first one here is uh, Altcoin Daily. Okay, so they obviously deal in, talk about altcoins really, rather than Bitcoin mostly. Um, so they have some articles and stuff like that. Um, but they also have their own YouTube channel. So it's kind of a combination of YouTube and uh, Twitter and stuff coming together. The only trouble I'd say about Altcoin Daily when I've watched some of their YouTube stuff is it can be a bit out of date, you know, a day or two out of date. Um, so there is that issue with them. I, I, you know, if you, if you look on YouTube, they're showing recent re, um, released videos. You can quite often see that the articles that they're reading from, basically, because that's all they do. They just go around the internet, finding articles which are, are interesting. So obviously them doing that, let them take up their own time to find you decent stuff. But the point is, it can be a day or two out of date already by the time they've gathered the information together and decided what they want to uh, show to you. So there is that issue. And obviously, if something's two days old, OK, two day old news is very old news in crypto, because if something's happened in, in the crypto universe, the crypto space, then quite often the coin shot up within 10 minutes. So... <laughs> Two days is is a waste of time almost. Okay, but not but not always. Not always. Sometimes a lot of people miss stuff, and it's only when big accounts tweet things or you know that it becomes sort of widespread. Uh, okay, so that's all kind daily. So here's another interesting one: whale trades. So basically, they're just tweeting. They're getting data. So this will be right up to date. So any whale trades, so on of those massive trades or massive movements in, in crypto will get displayed. Um, so here, what they're saying is uh, ETH has been shorted. So these kind of things are in, in, uh, in, interesting information. You know, if ETH is being shorted then by a whale, then there's a good chance that maybe this will go down in price. So if you see this, then it's a possible you know, it might be a good idea to sell and then buy back a bit later, maybe, or something. Uh, but, you know, that's up to you. So, look, Doge shorted, BTC shorted. Um, and this is like 17 minutes ago. I don't know what that is. Um, Ethereum shorted. Uh, okay, Ethereum long. So, you know, that's a 5 million long ETH bet, and that's a 1 million short. So, you know, these things can balance each other up. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, you know, take that with a little bit of a, a pinch of salt. Okay, and then you can have specific uh, alerts. So let's say you're looking for at a specific coin. So if you hold Coty, then you might want to look at uh, the whale alerts from Coty to see if anything big is happening. And then you might get a, a big movement or pour down. And, you know, if you can get in it early, you might be able to make a little bit of a profit potentially. So here we go, Coty, 1 million Coty to Binance. Okay, so if something's been moved from a wallet into Binance, then it possibly means they're getting ready to sell. OK, that's a possibility. I mean, sometimes whales, what they do is they'll move a load of. They, they can organize themselves to move a load of currency off or onto exchanges. OK, just to to mess people's minds up, basically. So you've got to be careful of this because just because something's moving on to um, an exchange doesn't necessarily mean anything's going to happen to it. You know, it's not been sold until it's sold. OK. Uh, another million Coty. So from Coinbase. OK. So unknown wallet. 
So you can see certain things moving to and from various exchanges. Okay. Uh, Crypto Bullet, uh, he does some, <clears throat> basically some altcoins. And, uh, he, he does on KuCoin and uh, Binance. So if you go through some of um, what what will happen is he basically is a pump and dump kind of account, really. Okay, so crypto bullet. Um, so after he tweets some stuff, very often it'll go up. But the point is, you'll probably be behind the curve. So he'll tweet something, and it's kind of already started to go up. Okay, before you you'll get a chance to kind of get in there. But if you can, sometimes you can make some gains. OK, but I just say just be careful that you might be buying stuff that's gone up already. Uh, you know, you, you kind of miss the party, as it were. You know, so just be careful of that one. Um, so here, look, you see types in layer. So if we uh, if you go to layer. What else? What's it say? Anything? Oh, I can't press the wrong button. But yeah, anyway, so have a look at it anyway. Okay, so Crypto's Arrows. So this is George. I don't know if you know him. So Crypto's Arrows, he's got a YouTube channel. I think he's just gone over 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. So this is his Twitter account. And he's got a little bit of a giveaway here as well. So uh, he's a good guy. He basically tells you to hodl um, <laughs> all the time. Hodl everything, dollar cost average. So... But yeah, he's worth following. Now, Willy Wu, he play, he, he does a lot of um, on-chain uh, analysis, blockchain stuff. You know, he's always providing a lot of graphs. Okay, so it's quite technical, but you know, it kind of shows why uh, cycles may, might be extended and things like that. So a lot of these people are talking about why the cycle might extend. You know into february march and god knows what well people like bitboy crypto who personally i don't think he's got a clue remember bitboy crypto said the uh the cycle would end on october the 28th is it or september the 20th september i think he said september the 28th didn't he yeah he said september the 28th well it hasn't even really started pumping yet so you can take what bitboy says with a pinch of salt a lot of the time Okay, you know, his uh, some of the stuff he says is just nonsense, I do believe. You know, he's also saying that he says Bitcoin will go to 100,000, definitely. Okay, but before the year is out, it will start dipping. So I don't believe, I don't think that's true. Um, I think it will go, I think it will carry on after December from what I can gather with institutions and all that. But who knows? I could be wrong and he could be right. But so far, he's been wrong about Bitcoin. OK. So and also the stuff he says about XRP, you know, he's mad on XRP. So. OK, I don't know why I started talking about BitBoy. Anyway, so that's Willy Woo. does a lot of charts and stuff. Pretty uh, technical stuff. Michael Saylor, if you haven't heard of Michael Saylor, basically he's a Bitcoin maximalist. So that means he basically only believes pretty much in Bitcoin, although I think he does hold some Ethereum too. Okay, so his company, MicroStrategy, it's basically a software company, but really it's just um, a company that holds Bitcoin now. It's, it, that, that's all it is. Forget about it. its um, uh, IT services and stuff. It's really just a... Bitcoin holder. Okay, it's, it's just a fund, really. <laughs> but he goes on about Bitcoin. He, he's a very intelligent guy. Okay. And he knows his stuff. And the way he explains Bitcoin, you know, it's very good. At, you know, he explains it to, as um, like holding uh, the, the, the hardest asset in the world and it's the best, better than gold and everything. He, you know, he basically loves the stuff. Okay. So. That's Michael Saylor. Uh, Cameron, Cameron Winklevoss, and he's also got a twin. Okay, so the Winklevoss twins, basically they're absolutely loaded and they've got Bitcoin coming out of their ears as well. And they're into things like Gemini. Okay, so I think they might be directors or CEO of Gemini or, or, or you know, 
large investors in Gemini. Um, so they're worth uh, following. Brian Armstrong, he's the CEO of Coinbase. So obviously he's got some information to, uh, worth uh, spouting on about, worth listening to. Uh, Coin Telegraph, obviously, um, I think Coin Telegraph was originally some sort of Russian uh, information for miners years and years ago, but it's coming to kind of something else now. I could be wrong there. It might be something else. Correct me if, uh, if I'm wrong on that one. But uh, they have in interesting articles, Coin Telegraph, but um, I'm not sure it's all legitimate <laughs> articles. Okay. Okay. Invest Answers. This guy's a really good guy to follow on YouTube. So, um, you know, he knows his stuff. He's been like a trader and he's a good guy. Okay. So he's worth trade. He's definitely worth following and definitely worth uh, watching his YouTube. Really good YouTube channel. Okay. So that's it. That's just a few guys uh, that are worth uh, following on, on Twitter. Um, you know, put in the comments below if there's any others that you think are really good to follow. Uh, I haven't really put any sort of ones that trade and things like that. There, you know, there's going to be loads of traders on there who gives information about trading. So I haven't really done that, actually. Um, but, um, yeah. Okay, so Twitter accounts to follow uh, to do with crypto. Okay, hope you like that. Bye now.